Welcome to this week's Naturalist Notebook, and we have a naturalist with us, an artist, Rick Hill. I've known you since 1941. We worked together yep. at Fish and Wildlife, or was it 42? Uh, 41. That's what I thought. Yeah. I've known you for a long time, and we yeah. had many adventures in the Fish and Wildlife realm, and yes. hunting and fishing, right. and I think we fished together for these fish. Today's Absolutely. Naturalist Notebook is going to be to identify the difference in this case. Mm -hmm. We're going to show three of them here today, but in this case, I was fishing in Alabama for a spotted bass. I was also back at Cumberland fishing for spotted bass because mm -hmm. I love to fish from on a yeah. fly rod. Yeah. There's nothing like it. You've seen it happen. Yeah. Okay, so what does this have to do with the country kitchen and food and preparing food in the kitchen? Because I like to eat yeah, spotted bass. They're delicious. Bass. Right. Love to eat spotted bass. Right. What's the difference? There's a whole lot of well, comparisons going on here. The ones that are most often confused are the largemouth in the spotted mm -hmm. or Kentucky bass. But the good way to tell, if you're not sure, the large mouth, the upper jaw goes well behind the eye. Mm -hmm. On the spotted bass, it's generally under the eye. So it's quite distinct. So look at this comparison here. And, and of course, in here in the middle is the small mouth. Mm -hmm. But in the small mouth, the jaw only goes under the eye on a bigger individual it can go a little past it, but nothing like the largemouth. That, right. that, of course, the largemouth and the spotted bass have horizontal, well, they run along the body, the dark markings, and the smallmouth has vertical bars. Quite different, really hard to confuse those. But they're, the ones that are the most, that look alike, like I said, the largemouth and the spotted, is the, uh, you've got the horizontal rows of spots on the spotted mm -hmm. bass, thus the name spotted bass. And they often have a, along this, dark line down the middle is diamond shaped markings mm -hmm. on the back and uh, the large mouth has fainter markings just the dark usually along the center of the body except on real young bass sometimes those markings aren't as distinct right and then there are other things like the notches on the dorsal fin the spiny dorsal of course they all have a spiny dorsal and a soft dorsal fin they're almost disconnected just barely attached deep notch on the large mouth on the small mouth it's quite connected. The notch is not near as deep. The spotted bass or Kentucky bass is inter intermediate between the two. The spotted bass or Kentucky has a tooth patch Very on distinct. his tongue and it's not usually found in the large mouth. Mm -hmm. So you can also watch for that if you're still confused. That could be helpful though in, the, in case the water's turbid because mm -hmm. as you know if there's a lot of color in the water yep. sometimes the fish markings are not very distinct. So always check the jaw where it hits on the eye in the tooth patch and things like that. I'm going to hold a picture up of a, of a spotted bass and you're going to see these characteristics from Alabama that was 22 inches long. Yeah, now that's Great. an unusually large bass. Oh, they fought. Now, bass. let's talk about say you're fishing and you want to have a fish fry and you want mm -hmm. to keep some spotted bass. Mm -hmm. Check your guide yeah. from lake to lake. Yeah, because it varies. Pay attention to your creel limit. Your creel limit is simply how many of each species you can keep per day. Mm -hmm. Remember back in 1972 when I showed you with the crown how to draw? Oh yeah, yeah. Not. It really helped me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this guy, look what he does, it's amazing. I wish I could take any kind of credit for this, but I can't. All I did was throw rocks at you the whole time we were well, fishing together back yeah. in the days. Well, I, I think you did buy me my crayon set, did you? I, that's exactly right. Oh, this was done in 2004. I was only yes. 15 years old then. Yeah. And it's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful comparison. I think this is, I, this is one of my favorite works of yours. Well. Glad you like it. Thanks for being on this week's Naturals Notebook and clearing things up for us. Enjoyed it. Thank you, Rick. All right.